Sneaker fam, welcome to a brand new episode of the Sneaker Dome. I am your host, Sneaker James, aka the Shoe Freak, aka the dude next door with all the kicks. Definitely got to come through and apologize to you guys for not posting an episode of the Sneaker Dome yesterday on Saturday. And the reason why is because my little sister is in town from North Carolina. So I have been extremely overwhelmed with joy just running the streets with my little sister, having a good time, and my father as well. So, you know, just having a good time with my folks. But we are here today for, like I said, a brand new episode of the Sneaker Dome. I'm not gonna hold you guys up at all. So without further ado, let's do it. It's Sneaker Dome, with the cream the crops. We got the ones and twos. This shit don't stop. Walk up in the building, my shit gon' pop. Never know what I got in the box. Over your 12 swag, too easy. Need my own sneakers, call up your easy. We ain't waiting around no more. My plug too greedy. But it was time last year, but the culture needs me. Yeah. The dome nigga, link in the bio weekly. Alright, so welcome back. Before before I get into this episode, I wanna give some quick channel updates. Um, I'm still working on um, an episode for Chicks for Kicks. Still got a couple of female friends that I know that's working on um, putting their collection together. So I will definitely be giving you guys that soon. Also, I have another, an, I'm sorry, another sneaker giveaway that I'm doing. Please stay tuned for that. That's coming up soon. Also, I have um, the third annual Shoe Freak Sneaker James Shoe Drive. I'll be doing that as well sometime in August. More information about that will be coming soon. So, um, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get directly into this brand new episode. So today I'm just piggybacking off um, another YouTuber that I've seen, Mr. Foreman Simpson. I'm pretty sure you all are familiar with that dude. Shout out to you, homie. Super cool dude, never met him. Love his videos. Super, super dude. Super, super cool dude, very creative. Today I am, like I said, piggybacking off of that. Um, this is pretty much talking about the top five sneakers that are a must in your summer collection. So, before we get into that, I'm not gonna say you, you should have everything that I'm gonna show. However, I do feel like some of these should be in somebody's top five collection or somebody's top 10 collection to rock in the summertime. More than likely because it's hot outside. So you wanna be comfortable, you wanna look cool and at the same time. You know, you want your feet to, you want your feet game to be proper. So, number one, gotta have a pair of runners. Not necessarily saying this colorway, but it's a must that you have a pair of runners in your top five or your top 10. ASIC gel light runners, super comfortable, super dope, super clean. You can never go wrong with a pair of runners, especially in the summertime. Number two, Harachis. Now, whether you do a Nike ID or you just do a regular store brand, <clears throat> Harachis should definitely be in your top five for your top 10 rotation for the summertime. Super comfortable, super light, super duper comfortable. It's always good if you can do a, a Nike ID. Make sure you guys can see the color of that. It's always good if you can do a Nike ID for a Harachi. Um, if not, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can go to any local downtown locker room, uh, finish line, foot action. Everybody sells Harachis, all right? Number three. Of course, of course, like, come on. How can this not be in your top five for the summer? You know what I'm saying? How could this not be in your top five sneakers to wear for the summertime? <clears throat> Granted, they, they just re-released this shoe, um, but it's dope, man. Like, it's super dope. The colorway is dope. Of course, with the white and the um, the red patent leather, you can't go wrong with that. This shoe screams summertime all day long. All right, number four. Of course, man, of course. Of course these are a must for the summertime rotation. I mean, people are already rocking them. People was rocking them, of course, when they first came out, well, when they when they re-released a couple of months ago. But of course, man, you gotta have this in the top five or the top 10 rotation. All right. And last but not least, a lot of you may not have this particular shoe in your rotation, but it is definitely in mind. It was a shoe that I've been looking for for a long time. I was able to get it for 100 bucks. Yes, man, I cannot wait to throw this on in the summertime. With Orlando Magic, Shaquille O'Neal jersey. The white one, of course. 
super, super, super sharp. Super sharp shoe, man. Cannot wait to throw this on for the summertime. This is a super all around clean shoe. All right? I definitely appreciate you guys for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Before I get go any further into this episode, I am not a Golden State Warriors fan. The head is super dope. So of course, my homeboy, had some wheels, looked out for me. Of course, it's a, it's a dope hat. So you know what I'm saying? Whether you like the team or not, the head is dope. It's a must cop. So like I said, if you're looking for me on Instagram, you know where to find me at, at Shoe Freak. It's your boy Sneaker James, AKA The Shoe Freak, and I'm out. Peace.